Dear Ohrenzeuge, the ear witness makes no effort to look, but he hears all the better. He comes, halts, huddles unnoticed in a corner, peers into a book or display, hears whatever is to be heard, and moves away untouched and absent. One would think he was not there, for he is such an expert at vanishing. He is already somewhere else. He is already listening again. He knows all the places where there is something to be heard, stows it away nicely, and forgets nothing. He forgets nothing. One has to watch the ear witness when it is time for him to come out with everything. At such a time, he is another man. He is twice as large and four inches taller. How does he do it? Does he have special high shoes for blurting things out? Could he possibly pad himself with pillows to make the words seem heavier and weightier? He does nothing else. He says it very precisely. Some people wish they had held their tongues. All those modern gadgets are superfluous. His ear is better and more faithful than any modern gadget. Nothing is erased. Nothing is blocked, no matter how bad it is. Lies, curses, four-letter words, all kinds of indecencies, invectives from remote and little-known languages. He accurately registers even things he does not understand and delivers them unaltered if people wish him to do so. The ear witness cannot be corrupted by anybody. When it comes to this useful gift which he alone has, he would take no heed of wife, child, or brother. Whatever he has heard, he has heard, and even the good Lord is helpless to change it. But he also has human sides, and just as others have their holidays on which they rest from work, he sometimes, albeit seldom, claps blinders on his ears and refrains from storing up the hearable things. This happens quite simply. He makes himself noticeable. He looks people in the eye. The things they say in these circumstances are quite unimportant and do not suffice to spell their doom. When he has taken off his secret ears, he is a friendly person. Everyone trusts him. Everyone likes to have a drink with him. Harmless phrases are exchanged. At such times, people have no inkling that they are speaking with the executioner himself. It is not to be believed how innocent people are when no one is eavesdropping. Dear Ohrenzeuge,
Oh, <laughs> 